radio shouting. You know, him going to prison was was a low. Although he um, he reflected on it later, he said, "I think the reason I went to prison is because it saved me from dying." Mm. You know, so it it was a good. It, he he came to view it as kind of a blessing in disguise. And um, you know, we talked about his his mental health struggles. Mm. You know, the he's his mom said he was he was depressed like a large majority of the time, and, and the music was just his, his way of coping with it. Mm. So, you know, he had a lot of uh, things that he struggled with, but he was able to, to overcome and, and make something positive out of it. So I think that's a story anybody can, can relate to. Now, what about Pimp C's death? Because a lot of people, they still don't quite want to believe how he passed or what was going on with that. I mean, were you able mm. to delve into that and figure out what was going on when he passed? Yeah, there's a... Uh, well, his, his mom believes he was murdered, um, okay. and she basically breaks down the reasons why she believes that. Um, I couldn't really, there's some circumstantial evidence that might make you think that. Um, mm. But as far as like physical evidence, I had a, I had some other people review the autopsy report and things like that, and they, they didn't really come to a, a, a solid conclusion as far as, you know, a, any foul play or things like that. Um, but a lot of people have heard that he died of a codeine overdose, mm -hmm. which is not true at all. Um, that was actually, you know, the, the day he passed or, or, or the day that the results of the tests and whatnot were not announced, the coroner said, you know, he did not overdose. Mm. And then you had all these newspapers that said that he did overdose. Mm. So that was just irresponsible, me irresponsible media that came up with that story. But the, the official story was that he uh, had sleep apnea, mm. uh, which is a condition which can make it hard for you to basically you stop breathing in your yeah. sleep. And the story was that he took some codeine, which prevented him from his body from waking up the way that it normally would. So it, it feasibly could have happened that way. Mm -hmm. But there are some alternate theories, which I kind of explore in the book. Mm -hmm. um, his mom thinks he was poisoned, and there was someone with him when he passed who was a very shady, mm -hmm. <laughs> strange character. So there, there is a, actually a person of interest, according to his mother, that, that she believed had something to do with his death. So I wasn't able to really definitively... Mm -hmm come to a conclusion but i've laid out all the facts and people can kind of decide for themselves and um that's an interesting story as well so radio shouting, shouting.